Here we are. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, baby. We're looking at three properties today. We got about 500 units to look at. Let's go find out what Vincent and Ben's picks are today and find out if we can get a deal. Before you get on the plane, always stop for a cookie. Carla's not here. I might take two. Pleasure. How are you? How are you? Excellent, excellent. Jake from State Farm. Yes, sir. He was going to go off and be a big shot driving big, giant planes, but something happened. We don't know what. He's back with us in the little jets. I just, I just can't get away from you, Ben. You know why they call them cockpits? Because all the pilots are dicks. Uh-oh, are you saying bad things about <laughs> he me? He hasn't eaten breakfast, so. <laughs> This plane being washed? What the hell is going on here? Look at this. Stainless steel cleaner right away. Put some armor roll on those tires. You got bird shit on your plane. Bird shit on the plane. This one's nice. It didn't even move when he got on it. Mexico. Buenos dias, senors. We're in Mexico. All right, load the plane up and we'll get the hell out of here. Eat a kind bar. No, I'm not eating that shit. Eat a kind bar. I'm going to Wendy's. I haven't tried their breakfast yet. First cigarette of the day. No, it's not. Yeah, right. Seriously, what number of cigarette is this? Don't, don't lie. This morning I was in a rush, so I didn't have that many. One before I got in the shower. Before I got in the shower. One in the shower. And then I didn't have another one until I got in the car with you. There's two, <laughs> so and one at the airport is three. This is the fourth one. And it is 8.14 in the morning. I'm hungry. I didn't get no breakfast. One, oh, Nissan Ultima. This one, yeah. All right, let's do it. The <laughs> mom is trying to make a graveyard. It's kind of weird. Open your eyes. Starbucks, GameStop, Supercuts. This is the whitest area I've ever been to. <laughs> it's the most ruralist area. This what a is... burger. AT&T, Dunkin' Donuts. And we're still not there yet. Supercenter Walmart. Chick-fil-A. I was going to say, you're going to pass by Chick-fil-A for Wendy's? You no, know, that's the matter. They got no story. breakfast there. Yeah, they got the little chicken. I've wanted to try the breakfast at Wendy's. Oh, Vincent. Jesus Christ. No, that's from outside. I know, yeah, it's outside. The whole fucking area is polluted. We going in? Yeah, let's go in. One dollar Dave single. Look at that. Is he about to go in here and be a cheapskate? You're already eating the most crappiest food in the Bullshit. world. Bullshit, Wendy's is the best Don't food in the world. Don't go in here and be a cheapskate also. Yeah, look who's talking about eating crappy food. <laughs> yeah, look who's talking. Oh, I forgot. Now he's Mr. Health Man. Mr. Health. It's Mr. Mr. 247 Health Man. this morning. All right, here we are. This is the first time I've ever been to a Wendy's for breakfast. We're going to check it out. Is it as good as they say it is? Oh, oh it breakfast. fucking stinks. Stinks like shit. Though, if my mother was here right now. She'd say, you got to get it on the app. I've been saying that for an hour. Get the app for a dollar. It smells like greasy floors in here. Only drive through for breakfast. She said the inside is not open. Get out of here before. OK. I can look at the menu, right? All right. Where's breakfast on the menu on there? Oh, outside? OK, come on. Can I use the restroom? <laughs> Let's go look at this property right here, Ben. It looks like my homeland. Here's another one of Vincent's uh, picks. You're not sucking me into that again. I didn't pick that shit. But it just sold, and I'm going to pull it up right now. How much this just sold for, and they're knocking it down. The sign represents the property. They just sold it for $11.7 million. Before we see our next property. Tennis squad's looking rough. Everything looks rough. I told you that. Let me tell you about our sponsor. You want to make more money in 2024? You want to be a big shot real estate investor in 2024? It is time to level up, baby. In 2024, the deals aren't going to just come to you. You need a dial for dollars, baby. Get on the phone and go find some deals. That's how I do it. But you can't call like an amateur on your personal line. If your personal line is your business line, you're gonna make mistakes. Pick up the phone like an amateur and lose out on the big bucks. That's why I wanna tell you about our sponsor, Nextiva. With Nextiva, you can create phone numbers in different area codes. So if you're a real estate investor, Dial in for deals. Nextiva will help you get more answers with more phone numbers from the area codes you're calling. You'll get unlimited calling, business texting, an auto attendant, 
voice analytics, and many more features that will make your business look as polished as a Fortune 500 company. And we're going to start using Nextiva in my business. You want to talk to me on a console with Ben? No more personal lines. We're going pro in 2024. We're going to be using Nextiva, baby. Because Nextiva lets you manage all conversations and teams with one powerful, easy to use app called Nextiva One. This means no more switching between a dozen different apps to get the job done. Don't let an amateur business and phone setup hold you back in 2024. Make a small investment into your business and yourself. Go to trynextiva.com slash Ben Mella to get up to 50% off your plan. Also linked in the description. Again, the link is trynextiva.com slash Ben Mella to get started today with 50% off. And talk to an Extiva rep to see if it's right for you. Thank you, Next Diva, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to see where Vincent's taking us next. It's all right, I'm gonna stand out here and have a cigarette. You guys drive through the drive-thru. I'm gonna walk to the menu. At least you'll be able to make the sensor go off because you <laughs> he weighs like a car. It's too hard to read a menu while you're sitting in a car. You never get to see everything. Breakfast Baconator. So they were running specials. Look, you got to step on this sensor right here to activate it, Dad. I'm the one at number eight. You want an oatmeal bar, Ben? Or seasonal fruit? I'm around to the second window, 2670. Second window. You're about as big as a car. Stop. Instead of a drive through, a drive up. I feel like I'm at Chick-fil-A with the people standing outside. I should become a fast food critic. <sighs> Go to every fast food. He'll die. Who the heck got a Coke? A Diet Coke. He's not, Diet. Allowed, he's not allowed to have that. Diet Coke. Let's see. Who picked this one? I did. Oh, boy. It literally just fucking stinks out here. Like, honestly, it's making me sick. <laughs> It's always something. What? Now I know why this place is for sale. Fucking air out here stinks. These wedges don't look like the picture. <laughs> Little Ben. Little Ben's about to throw up. It smells like that Yo, camp you sent me to as yeah. a kid. Definitely not meeting my expectations. <laughs> oh, shit. He's not going to make it. The broker said on such short notice and blah, 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 we got to go act like we uh, are renting an apartment if we want to see a unit. We're at Vincent's. Pick it a day, baby. We're looking at 148 units here. Now, we know a lot about these type of property because we've owned this type of construction before. It's manufactured, multi-family manufactured housing. So they brought these things in stages, two or three apartments at a time. They hook them together, and they make a big building out of it. It's basically modular multi-family. Biggest thing with this is the subfloors go out on it. It was built with polybutylene plumbing. The basically construction is modular, so therefore, you're going to deal with all the, you know, the cabinets are all lower grade, the flooring, the walls, the sheetrock, everything is kind of the lowest grade because it's modular construction. Yeah, high-end mobile homes. Right. But we've owned them, we've rented them, and if you maintain them and the tenants don't beat the hell out of them, hey, these things have been around older longer than you. And they just did a revamp in 2019. Yeah, they, they're telling us that they put new plumbing in, they put new roofs on it, that they put new appliances, so we gotta verify that. But it does look like it's in pretty good shape. It's so. a quiet, stable property. Area is yeah. It doesn't stink right here. But do the numbers work? And can we get it for a good price? That's the question. That's and it's deep. definitely worth lowballing it, baby. I agree. But it's gonna be hard to manage something this far out here. Vincent will love it out here. 45 minutes away it took us to get here from the nearest airport. I'm gonna have to hire a manager. I have to have a good manager here that mostly everything can be done remotely. On the reviews, there shows that the manager here is not fucking around. Whether they try to steal him or not, that's another story, but. Here we go with the power lines again. Oh, you in the power lines. How can you get power without power lines? But I'm saying you're not supposed to live underneath them. So what, you got a couple of birth defects from when I lived in a power line with them. All right, very good. Are we off to the next one? Next stop. We're Property going. number one. Now we're going back to the airport, and our pilot here is going to fly us to 
Tallahassee, the capital, the state capital. Maybe we'll see the governor while we're there. All right, we went to Wendy's and we ate not so good. Ben's eating a dark chocolate nut and sea bar, which I really didn't want. I'm hungry, so I gotta eat something, but it's got fiber in it. Uh, no, I'm not taking Ozempic. I am intermediate fasting. And I had him drug tested and eat on drugs. Nope, not today. I'm gonna do all this because I'm juiced up. Blah, blah, blah. Because when you get your body like, that's true. Yeah, but just shooting juice. I might, I might turn into an asshole. I'm gonna tell you. I told my wife already. Turn she into one. <laughs> you better think be you're past the point of turning into one. Uh, I told her, if I get any better looking, she's gonna have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I walk into fucking Walgreens and girls are staring at me. I don't know why. Man, because you live in a, a <laughs> it's a white trash neighborhood, <laughs> and you look like you got a job. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> With your fake Rolex. It's not a fake Rolex. <laughs> this is what you do when you fly private. You just walk right in. No security. Your pilot's waiting, the plane's waiting. Stop for a refreshment, and you walk out to the plane. Sometimes they park the plane right here and you just walk right in. We gotta walk to our plane. Could've got a golf cart. This is private flying. I mean, you know, it's simple, it's easy. We ain't gotta waste no time. It ain't cheap, but you know, time is money. People say once you go private, you don't go back. Listen, you do whatever is necessary. Today, it was necessary to cover at least a thousand miles. I'm not gonna be stuck in a car with these two for a thousand miles. And it would take us all day and all night. We're looking to buy real estate. It's an investment, it's cost of doing business. Now, if I'm going on a pleasure trip and it's far away, am I gonna spend 50 grand? Or am I gonna go commercial for five? I'm gonna go commercial for five. Especially when you're taking your whole family. Everything has to be done using logic and whatever makes sense. Because if it makes sense, it makes money. He took us all the way to Panama City to get breakfast at Wendy's. Off to stop number two. That means second cookie. Where are we? I'm going back to Tally, Tally, Tally. Uh, you know, I hate to say it, but I was in the shower this morning. Do you think he washes his ankles? I was bending over and I was like, there's no way. The people want to know. Do you wash your ankles in the shower? <laughs> you take a shower, the water hits everything. But do you wash your ankles? My wife does sometimes. Oh, this is a pretty nice looking complex. Here we are, property number two. Let's see what Vincent has in store for you. I mean, it's good, it's newer construction. It's a typical three bedroom, two bath. Good rentable unit. It just needs a little love, baby, a little love. I like it. Good building, tax credits are gone, 2007 construction, whatever. It's basically a tax credit building without the restrictions. What kind of number do you put on this? Yeah, that's the problem. He, it's off market and he said he wants Tallahassee prices, which is 120 a door for this. The broker talked him down to 100 and now we're down to like, Mid 80s, he said. The broker said we should be able to get this done for like 86, 87. How many units? Uh, 96. Only 96. It needs some love. It's a good place. It's quiet. We need landscaping. We need to paint some curbs. Paint we need some paint the buildings. We need to get this uh, some attention and bring it back to its glory days. So that's basically it. So we gotta get it for a good price, then we gotta fix it up, and then we gotta run it right, and then we're gonna have a successful story, like many before. All right? Vincent, do what, good? Not yet. Until we get the deal done, I don't wanna hear nothing. Not then. Anyway, make sure you put down the property needs a new swing there, it's missing. And uh, we need the furniture picked up. It just, it needs some real management. I mean, a lot of times they have an on-site manager here, but if the on-site manager's hands are tied, there's not much they can do. So we come in, not only untie their hands, but we give them four more hands to help them. And that's why we're successful, okay? When we own the place, the, the ground's not gonna look like this, okay? The body of the building's not gonna look like this. We're not gonna have furniture sitting outside there. I mean, we're gonna have a swing hanging there. I mean, we're gonna do what the right thing is to do. 
So we see a lot of potential here, but can we get it for the right price? That's what it's all about, baby. Getting it for the right price. So let's move on to the third and last building, find him a healthy lunch, and get on the plane and get back to work. See this beautiful golf course? I've seen better. Yeah, well, here's the, the building here. That's the building. You want to get into real estate in 2024? You want to see where this market's taking us? Then come on down, baby. Right here at my hotel. Go to benmal.com slash live. Get your ticket. Seating is limited. And we're going to have a real estate party. And we're going to be talking about making money. Go to benmal.com slash live and book your ticket. Tennis court's looking rough. Everything looks rough. I told you that. There used to be condos. There's 18 condos left. He's got them all under contract. He's going to close on those 18 and flip the whole building to us. When I came here, the cop was parked over here, and I asked him, I said, hey, what's up with this building? I was like, the whole area is nice, just this building. He said, yeah, you know what you're talking about. He wouldn't tell me much, but he basically said that I need to come in here and clean this building up. Pretty empty, the boards in the windows. Yeah, no. It's in need, trust me. Like, this house needs to be kicked out, not just because of those kids, but last time I was here, there was drug dealers hanging out right down there. Arrived. I wonder what they're doing with that lift. Oh, shit, these flat roofs? Yes. Ooh. This is Ben's pick. This place is 1970s. This place needs some love. All right, this place has clearly been, you know, neglected. I mean, there were condos at one time. We're going to buy them all up and run this apartment building. Parking lot needs work. There's a lot of old windows here. Now, those flat roofs scared the shit out of me. Needs new roofs. What? The I'm place? telling you, it. this is a garbage to gold situation. Wait till I drive you in the area. But if you don't okay? buy it cheap enough and you put I understand, money but it. I need you to come in there and put the old Ben Mala Senior touch on it and get this thing for cheap. I, can't, I don't have no magic. You got power. the touch. You've been this doing market, it. This market, nobody's got a touch. You can touch this and make it make it sell it for cheap. Nobody's no institutional person's gonna touch this. No big REIT's gonna well, touch this. Next. There's only a select group of buyers that will buy this stuff. And he reached out to one of the ten people, us. Kitchens are small. I mean, I've never seen that before in my life. I mean, it's concrete floor, concrete ceilings, concrete block. It's concrete on concrete on concrete. So even the roof is concrete. Carpet. Yeah, they should not put carpet on it. Yeah, the carpet is. Be careful. This is barely half a step here. It doesn't even hold a whole foot doesn't fit on it. I don't understand, you know, how people own these places and just let them go to hell. Why are you smoking in the car? Oh, I forgot. I'm out the car now. Because I wanted to show you the new construction, U.S. Department of Veterans. Veterans Hospital. Not known for high-end clientele. Even the veterans don't want to go to VA hospital. And then if you go one more block, there's building another thing just like this. So whoever built this decided that they're going to build more and more and more. And this is all luxury apartments. This is not low, mid-grade apartments. This is luxury class A apartments right here. I mean, yeah, for the one bedrooms, they're getting 1630. Two bedroom, two bath, they're getting 1660. Three bedroom, they're getting 1750. Across the street on the left is 2295 for a townhouse. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. And these are all townhouses. That's why they were condos. You got a lot of townhouses and I'm well, some are not, you know. When I see the area, I feel BJ's. It's just got, we got some money over here. Millionaire. Millionaire. I'm not gonna lie. The building that Vincent showed us, that was a nice building. I didn't particularly like the area. The building that I went to go look at, it really wasn't that nice of a building. But so, you like the area. But I like the area. So you're finding buildings that you don't like in good areas and buildings that you do like in bad areas. That's the way it is. We looked at a couple of big apartment complexes like Big Shots. Now work the numbers. Get us a deal. It's numbers, not numbers. The numbers. If you want to talk about doing your next deal, go to bidmal.com slash shop. Consult with Ben. Get me on the phone, and I'll tell you what I think you should do. Because he's been telling both of us what to do our whole life. But some of us just don't listen. Subscribe. Watch another video. Don't forget about our sponsor, Nextiva. Adios, amigos.